Today we're gonna to be doing a full breakdown on my 1984 Jeep Grand Wagoneer Overland build. So as you see, it's pretty stripped down right now, but today we're gonna to kind of be talking a little bit about the build plans for this. So currently it's missing a lot of things. Uh, the bumper's right over here. That's not even put on. All the seats are torn out. The whole interior is torn out. You can see right here, um, this is the new floor that I've been mocking up. And there's the seats in the back. Also have the new tailgate put on now. Uh, looks decent. That's the rear bumper. It's basically just totally stripped down right now. Also doing a bunch of filler on the front here, getting this thing ready for paint. So the plans for the build, um, we're doing a four inch lift kit sponsored by Skyjacker Suspension. This is the lift kit right up here. It's a leaf spring lift. We're also doing uh, steering stabilizers sponsored by Skyjacker. And then we got these ADX 2.0 shocks, again, sponsored by Skyjacker. Uh, there's two more over there. So this is what they look like. They're a separate reservoir shock. And basically they're supposed to perform, perform excuse me, really well um, off-road and on the pavement because realistically, a lot of your driving is gonna be on the pavement as well with a daily or this isn't a daily, but you know. So my plans of the build, starting with the front of the car, um, we're gonna be doing, I think I'm gonna do aftermarket big honking bumpers that are welded on there. Um, a worn winch on the front, probably a conversion of LEDs in the front as well. Engine staying as is, might do like a, um, an upgraded cam. Maybe some pulleys just to give a little bit more power. These V8s are pretty terrible, but let me show you kind of under the hood. So it's a little hard to see because of the lighting here, but we got just the V8, the 360 that came stock with these. This engine's got about 400 miles on the rebuild. Um, it's also got a new transfer case in the back. So this thing's pretty great, and that's why I'm gonna leave this engine uh, as is. For a wheel setup, I'm not really sure exactly yet. I know we're gonna be running about 33s. I haven't decided on a brand or a tire company. It depends if anyone wants to hop in and sponsor that. Moving to the inside of the Jeep, once I get all the flooring done here, we're gonna be doing sound deading material and new carpet on the whole thing. Uh, we're talking about the possibility of doing a dash swap or leaving this tan because I am most likely gonna be replacing these seats. The reason why we're replacing these seats, if you look here, there's no headrest on these. I mean, the car doesn't have airbags anyway, but I'm a little concerned about like breaking your neck off in an accident. Um, and they're just kind of musty and old. So I think we might be swapping uh, some seats out of like a better Jeep. But if you walk back in the shop here, you can see the doors. So the doors are all off right now, um, getting prepped for paint but you can see the speaker hole right there. So we're gonna be running a special speaker system. So let me tell you about that. So the speakers, um, my plan as of now, I'm gonna be picking up some pretty decent ones, probably like some six or eight inch ones. We're gonna be running two in the back towards the quarter panel. I'll show you those in a second. Um, two on the doors, and I'm actually gonna be doing custom two in the roof, and there's a reason for that. So most full-size Jeeps, you can't take the doors off. Uh, it's just a pain, but this thing, since it's so old and it's hand crank windows, it's one cord to disconnect the doors. So I'm gonna do two speakers up in the roof here, two in the back, and then two in the doors. So that way when I take the doors off, we still have a full sound system in the car. This will make this pretty unique because you're gonna be able to take the doors off kind of like as you see here and still have speakers. I'm also gonna be doing two tweeters up on the dash and probably a subwoofer in the back. So it's gonna have a pretty great sound system. Also gonna be putting a rooftop tent on this with a roof rack because um, this is an overland vehicle, so we're gonna use it to do some camping and stuff. And then obviously this head unit will be going and I'll be getting something different because it's gotta complement the new system. So basically I'm just kind of making it how I want. We're not keeping an original. I mean, we're throwing a lift. I might even put a snorkel on it. We're gonna be doing a full sound system. Um, the new Skyjacker shocks and lift, rooftop tent, upgraded bumpers, winch, uh, and then maybe some like exhaust components. I'm gonna be putting just a stock exhaust off like a Grand Cherokee, I think, something really quiet. I wanna keep it nice and quiet. Uh, and then a different uh, interior potentially. So guys, that's basically it on the 1984 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. This is everything that we're gonna be doing to it. I just wanna kind of give you guys a bit of an update on what we're doing. This is probably gonna be one of the few videos I put on this YouTube until spring, because in the spring, I'm gonna be doing full on videos on here probably about every week. On TikTok, I'm gonna keep it with builds, just doing all the uh, work on the machines themselves because I cannot post writing content on there of any sorts. They remove it for dangerous acts. So YouTube is where everything that I build is gonna be tested and used. So things like the Jeep, the dirt bikes, the boat, all that you're gonna see on here. So if you guys wanna see that, um, right around April, I'm gonna start doing that, probably May. Uh, subscribe and, and uh, you can watch all those videos. Also, I get a lot of questions about when is this gonna be done. The completion date I'm, I'm going for is June. Uh, I'm hoping to have it all wrapped up by then and be using it. And then I'm gonna go cross country. I was planning on doing it in the spring, but with gas prices, I'm probably gonna wait because this gets like 
maybe seven miles to the gallon. Uh, so I'm probably gonna wait on that. So you guys have to wait and, and see what I end up doing with that. But um, that's basically it as far as everything. The color choice, I'm not ready to reveal yet. That's a secret. I don't wanna show you guys until it's actually out, but it is gonna be very cool. The only hint I can give you is it's a popular color, just not with Jeeps. Um, so that's basically everything that's gonna be going on with it. Uh, we're gonna be doing some maintenance things like uh, you know water pump, stupid stuff like that, but you guys don't really care about that too much. So that's basically all the aftermarket components we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be a pretty cool build, so make sure you are following me on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to this YouTube to see the second half using the builds, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, shady baby, I'm hot, light up a